Hi, this is Tim Brooks, and I want to welcome you back to part three of my model ship build log of the Arm Virginia Sloop by Model Shipways, featuring a practicum by Bob Hunt at LockStreetShipyard.com. In this episode, we're going to be working on the first layer of planking on the hull, and for me, this is the part that I've anticipated the most, and it's also going to be the most challenging part of this model to date. Anyway, I hope you're ready to go. Let's dive right into this. Right now we're working on the first layer of planking. As you can see here, we're using cyanoacrylate glue for this level of planking, or CA for short. This can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge uh, because of the nature of this type of glue. It sets very quickly. It's essentially the same thing as super glue. And in certain cases here, I struggled with it setting too quickly, and then it actually wouldn't uh, bind the glue to the bulkheads itself. I'd have to scrape it and start over again. Now based on our practicum from LockStreetShipyard.com, we know to measure the distance between the whale and the keel. And once we do that, we can tell that there's a much greater distance in the stern portion of the hull than at the stem portion. And because of this, if we don't trim our planking, if we don't make the planks wider in the rear than at the stem, then we're going to come up with a much more bowed effect. So based on this and what we learn in our practicum, we're going to use what's called the spiling technique. And as a result of that, each and every plank that we put on this ship is going to be unique. No other plank will be exactly like that one. We're going to customize each and every plank that we put down here, again using the spiling technique. We're going to use a different technique when we put on the second layer, but for this first layer, that's what we're using. And we started out the first layer of planking all the way at the top of the bulwarks. Then we worked our way down, framed out our gun ports, and we've made it about halfway down. At that point, then we switched to the, the keel area in this first plank or strike, which is known as the garboard strike. And we're going to work our way back upwards. And then we're going to have one last piece. It's kind of like a key piece to fit in there that's going to be uh, unique unto itself and uh, presented quite a challenge how to mathematically figure out how to cut that particular plank to fit exactly in like the last piece of a puzzle. So you can see here we've got to make sure that not only we glue the one plank to the other below it but we also have to make sure that we get that glue on those bulkheads and that these planks sit flush with the bulkheads as well. That's why we did all of the work prior to this on the bulkheads earlier in the, as you saw in the last episode. So we're just going to put that CA along there, get a nice snug fit there, and there's always a little bit of excess there so we just have to wipe that off with that paper towel that I've been using. One thing I've had to get used to with working on this model here is just having that super glue sticky finger syndrome, but uh, it it comes right off here once you wash your hands. So you can see here, we've got this particular plank when at the very rear of this ship there's a radical 90 degree bend in these planks and you, you really have to soak it in water first and I used a pl plank bender to get that 90 degree angle otherwise these planks will break if you don't soak them first. This is that very last plank that I was talking about that had to fit in exactly like uh, the last piece in a puzzle there. And uh, it was very interesting the shape that I ended up with on, on this plank so that it fit in exact. And it was also interesting to compare the last plank on this side with the last plank on the opposite side of the hole here to see how different they were or how similar and to see if they matched closely, which they actually did on this particular one. Although we're using the spiling technique on this last plank, I actually had to use a little bit of trial and error. 
and uh, it was uh, it probably took the longest out of all of the planks that I've worked on as far as this first layer goes but a little bit of trial and error and uh, it fit in there perfectly being that this is the freshman course in the College of Model Shipbuilding, LockStreetShipyard.com, the spiling technique that we're learning for this first layer, and also on the second layer we're going to be learning another technique, that isn't something that's just specific to this particular model. It's actually something that uh, we're learning to go on to, say, um, larger model ships. Uh, we're going to be using the same techniques in, in basically any other type of ship that we want to build that requires planking like the sophomore course is going to be the USS Constitution so these are skills that we're actually going to be developing that will go on to serve us in any other types of ships that uh, that one wants to build after this so that's something that I was very pleased to learn so you can see here we've got our almost finished first layer of planking and I say almost finished because we still have to sand it and fill in any gaps that there may be. You can't really see any right there, but you can see where it definitely needs to be sanded to a nice smooth surface so that it will be ready to accept the second layer of planking. But before we get to the second layer of planking, we're actually going to be finishing out the bulwarks on the outside and inside. Then we're going to paint the top half of this hole and then it'll be ready for the second layer of planking, which when, once that's put on there, it gives a very, very nice appearance to this ship. Well, that's all the time that we have today. I have enjoyed sharing my ship build log with you, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Anyway, join me for part four, where we'll be finishing the bulkheads, as you can see there. Thank you. Uh -huh.